Um, I think body builds like any sport, you know, I think every generation takes you know raises the bar a little bit. You know, you look at the guys, Arnold, you know, at that time Arnold set a new standard. Then Lee Haney came along, raised the bar again. You know, then after that, Dorian came and showed the world something that was size and conditioning no one had ever seen before. You know, and then Ronnie took it a step further, you know, 290 something pounds and ripped to the bone. So uh, every generation raises the bar a little bit. Um, I think that's like any sport, you know, you look at the Olympics, you know, track, track and Phillips athletes, they, every generation, you know, they break the old records and set new records. So uh, I think it's the same with bodybuilding. I think the, the pro level, at the elite level, I think the bar continues to get raised. Um, at the amateur level, you know, the national level, USA level, I don't know if uh, this year at the nationals, they had more athletes than they had since I won it in 2001. That's the first time that they actually had that number of, I think, bodybuilders. Um, I don't know overall if the amateur level is as good as it used to be, but for whatever reason, the pro level continues to improve. I hate to single someone out, you know, and kind of put that kind of pressure on them. But uh, there's definitely a couple of young guys coming up. Yeah, I see, you know, they're definitely they're, they're young right now. I think once they get a little more age on them and a little more training under the belt, they'll be the next generation to be the one to step up and be on top. So uh, I don't want to name any names right now because uh, too often uh, I see these guys come up and all the hype and surrounds them and then there's too much pressure on the on and they don't live up to that hype and it can be very disappointing. So. Uh, but there's definitely a couple of young guys I got miles on that are, are coming up, and um, I think they're going to be the top top guys in the sport in a few years. Uh, you know, you always want to. If you want to be the best, you got to compete with the best. And um, you know, ever since I've had a chance with to. Uh, work out and partner up with Branch is one of those situations where in football you'd always want to go against the best to see how good you could be and you know it's just a driving force driving factor into it because uh, you go every day and I remember I just dreaded the workouts because I knew I was going to get my ass handed to me and uh, it's, now it's just fun because now I feel like I can actually push him when he gets tired or when he needs a little more push I can just kind of drive him a little bit more so training with a guy like that training with a Hall of Famer training with you know Pinnacle of hardcore, whatever you want to call them, you know, people's champ. It, it's it's a blessing, and, and you know you got to take full advantage of it. And that's what I've been doing. Hey, you strong. Come on. Oh, Because you have that pro in front of your name doesn't mean you're actually a pro. Professional is actually being, you know, day in, day out, no matter where you're at, where, uh, you know, if you're at the grocery store, if you're at, you know, at, at a show, you know, just being a professional, treating everyone the same, being humble, you know, making sure you give everyone the same respect because everyone looks up to you at the same time. So you want to make sure that you give everyone the respect that they deserve because one day they want to be in your shoes and if you can inspire, inspire that one person to be a uh, professional then that's what it's, a true pro is all about. Of all the Arnold Classic champions that have come before me, uh, I'm just honored to be, uh, be able to share that stage with them. I, uh, I think Rich Gaspari was one of the first bodybuilders I'd ever seen. So I'm on the cover of a magazine when I was a very young, young boy and uh, I followed his career. 
not just because of his physique, but because of his training style. I just got into training myself, and you know, he is real high intensity, balls to the wall, top training, and that's how I learned how to train you know, here at Metroflex. So I related to him, and uh, he had a big, uh, played a big part of me, my training, and uh, my career as a young man. And uh, as you know now, I, I'm honored to work for him and this part of nutrition, be one of his athletes, and call him my friend. And uh, he had a big, big influence on me. And uh, of course, Ronnie, you know, I was coming up as he was, he put Metroflex on the on the map and set a new standard in the sport. He, of course, he had a played an influence on me. And uh, as far as physique wise, you know, I think Mike Francois, he, uh, I met him when I, the year I won the Teenage Nationals in 1993, and uh, he was a guest poster there. And, uh, and I was just in awe of his physique. It was just at the time, you know, probably the most impressive person I'd seen in person. So, uh, but uh, yeah, Rich, Rich and Ronnie were probably the two. Uh, Two Arnold champions that had the greatest uh, influence on me. I haven't felt this good about my prep since probably 2011, 2012. So um, everything's falling in place. And, you know, five weeks out, man, I'm ahead of schedule. You know, I'm guessing by the time I'm two weeks out, I should be pretty much ready. So uh, all those things keep progressing the way they are. And uh, that's what it's been for all my best conditions. You know, when I was two weeks out, I was basically ready for the show. So at that point, I can back off, rest, and meet up, and get up to the show and feel rested.